Hi everybody, Joe for Jaspie's Hobbyland there, uh, there, here, Joe for Jaspie's Hobbyland here, not there, you're there. We're doing a personal box of Topps Chrome Star Wars, Force Awakens. This is for uh, Prestige World in the Breakers.tv stream. This is Curtis, of course, who enjoys the, the, the more peculiar things on jazbeeshobbyland.com, relatively speaking, which would be the uh, non-sports stuff, which we actually, we do like the non-sports stuff. Um, and the tennis, of course. You'll see, you'll see his, his name on the tennis breaks. We had a box of chrome laying around. I thought we had sold all of these out, but then, you know, a careful look of our Indiana Jones-esque archives back there has, had revealed a box and Curtis was like dibs and I said okay and here we go a uh, big fan of the Topps Chrome Star Wars we sold out a lot of these when this came out if you're interested in personal breaks folks email us at jazbeeshobbyland at gmail.com and uh, kind of let us know what your budget is what what specific products you're looking for and we'll see if we can uh, if we have any of it first of all or we can kind of refer you to something similar Oh, no worries, Curtis. This is fun. I, I'm a big fan of the Star Wars, of course. Who isn't? People, I guess there's some people who are. I've yet to meet someone, though, and perhaps this is speaks more to the company that I keep, but I've never met anyone who liked Star Trek more than Star Wars. Maybe it's because if I ever meet someone who likes Star Trek more than Star Wars, I shun them from my lives. That's possibly why. I don't know. I just I like Star Trek too. I just never got into it. But Star Wars, though, this is good stuff. The Chrome especially is nice, and uh, the Force Awakens was fantastic. Even if people think it's like a, it is kind of a New Hope ripoff, but Force Awakens is fantastic. I wish Prestige World, maybe you'll agree with me on this. Uh, wow, Dave Nelson likes Star Trek better than Star Wars? Maybe we can't be friends anymore, Dave Nelson. Maybe I have to shun you for my life. Uh, you know what they should do, guys? They should make, you know what would be cool in the Star Wars universe? If they, if they made, um, if they made a prequel. You know, everybody's all about the prequels, right? In movies, why don't they do a prequel for Star Wars? They really should do something like that. I think J.J. Abrams would do a really good job doing a prequel. You know? Because don't you want to know the backstory of the whole Skywalker family and how things happen to be the way they are? The Clone Wars are referenced by Obi-Wan Kenobi in the early original movies. You know, like, I'd want to know what happened there. Right? I'd like to know, how did Darth Vader become, how did Anakin become Darth Vader? You know, where did Obi-Wan Kenobi go? You know, like, like, you know, don't, don't we want to know all this stuff? They should do prequels for Star Wars. I think that'd be great. Perilous Departure. There's Captain Phasma. She's in, uh, she's in, uh, Game of Thrones. You know, like, Yeah. How did, how, how did Darth Vader get so messed up? Don't you want to see? I'd like to know. Where did Yoda come from? Right. How cool, like, let's talk about the Clone Wars. What happened there? What were the Clone Wars all about? How could you screw that up? You couldn't screw up a prequel. Whoa, nice. Look at that, almost missed this. Look at that Force Awakens art. How cool is that, Prestige World? That's what the last box of this had. That is nice. The artist is this guy. Nice. Yeah, sketches are very short print in this product, right? Very cool. Um, Kevin Helton asking if we have a personal box of Immaculate Baseball. Unfortunately, we do not. 
And that stuff like Immaculate Baseball, we generally reserve for uh, for group breaks. I think if if there has been occasions where where some people have been interested in purchasing um, a case of Immaculate or National Treasure from us, and we've accommodated uh, those requests, but for individual boxes, we tend not to. And we don't have any immaculate for personals, I'm afraid. These Wrath Tars were terrifying. <laughs> 14 out of 50. Secret mission. I see. There you go, Poe Dameron. Go do your thing. This guy was in the movie... Uh, what was that movie with that Swedish girl that's easy on the eyes that was in the other movie that she won an Oscar for? Alicia Vicklander or something like that? And there were cyborgs. It was a cool movie. Uh, and no triple threads baseball for personals, I'm afraid. Generally, for those higher end products like that, we don't offer them for uh, for personal breaks. We have them reserved for group breaks. We'll look up that movie afterwards. Someone on someone's watching this break on YouTube right now, and going, "It's that movie, Joe! Come on, it's on the tip of your tongue." That snow duel was really cool. Nice. A shocking surprise. I get it. Uh, five out of 99 on that one. All right. And Ray is captured is the last one right there. And that's it, Curtis, Prestige World. Thanks for grabbing this personal box because uh, that's a pretty nice sketch right there. Very cool. A lot of beautiful detail for a beautiful movie. Thanks a lot, everybody. Really appreciate you guys watching. Curtis, thank you very much for grabbing that personal box uh, from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks. We'll see you.